Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Marzullo here, Ram Studio Comics. Welcome back. So today's video I'm drawing a Castlevania art piece for the contest winner uh, from the one and only YouTube contest we've had thus far on the channel. And uh, I'm a little bit behind on this one, unfortunately, because I got some other commercial jobs that got in the way. Uh, luckily, the contest winner was very uh, understanding, which I appreciate that if you're listening. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, so he wanted a, a Castlevania art piece, and that's uh, what I'm working on, and kind of the nostalgic feel, a little bit anyways, along with the comic book style that I like to do. So I gotta admit, I was pretty happy that he picked this because uh, it brought back some old memories. I used to play, uh, God, probably the really old school Castlevania. Uh, I don't even remember which one as far as, you know, all the series they might have and things like that, but... It was old school, pretty pretty pixelated to say the least, uh, but you know, cool nonetheless, you know, so so it kind of brought back some memories that way, and it's always fun to do some game art, and uh, yeah, and I was kind of happy that he wanted the nostalgic version versus uh, anything too updated, because I'm not really aware of what it's like these days. So yeah, so um, drawing this out, you know, using Sketchbook Pro, I decided to show the interface on this one, just so you guys could see all the choices made. Uh, even though it's, you know, obviously I don't draw this fast. It's being time-lapsed pretty pretty heavily. Um, but hopefully you can still get an idea. I use that same pencil the whole way through. Nothing fancy there. Uh, one of the neat things about this program, the reason why I keep gravitating towards it for my drawing process, is that it really doesn't require much uh, editing or alteration to the pencils or anything like that. Like, to me, this is the one I go to when I just want to draw. So... Uh, if I do anything more intense like painting and things like that, it always comes out of uh, Manga Studio. Or if it's a full book creation, it's inside of Manga Studio. But for just the drawing aspect, I really enjoy the speed and uh, ease of use for Sketchbook Pro. So yeah, so here I'm I'm drawing the uh, Skull Warrior, one of those little Skull Warrior dudes. Um, and then I start realizing how bad my knowledge is of the <laughs> skeletal structure. Because, you know, it's like those things, like, if you don't draw it all the time, you know, you kind of have to revisit it. So I had to, like, kind of look at some skeleton uh, images to remember what some of the stuff is like. And I, and I still didn't nail it. Still didn't get it entirely correct there. It was just correct enough. Um, and you can see it says 2016. So this is already an image from last year that I'm finalizing. So this uh, this particular video, I'm just getting all the pencils ready to take it to inks, and then I'll uh, I'll do it like a comic style coloring, and uh, yeah, so hopefully it comes out pretty decent. And I'll probably ink it. I don't know. I might I might ink it in here, or I might ink it in Manga Studio. I'm still not sure. You know, one thing I want to touch on when I when I talk about using these different programs, I just want people to be aware that you can make any of these programs bend to your will, so to speak. Like you can make any of them do the job. But certain ones are just going to require that you learn a little bit more about the way the brushes work or the way the tablet works with the with the program. So don't feel like you need to have any one particular program, one over the other, that kind of thing. I know that I use a few of them, but you got to remember too that I also use a few of these because it suits the channel and the demonstration of the work that I do here. So I just want you to be fully aware of that. Um, so yeah, so still trying to refine the work. See, I'm adding little bits of shadows. I could have went a lot heavier on the shadows on this this type of scene, but I really wanted to keep it light. And what I think that happens there, if you keep the shadows a little bit on the light side, you can let the colors kind of take over more. And that's just the way I see it. Maybe I'm not entirely right there. I don't know. But to me, that's kind of the way I play it. Like if I do light shadows, then I feel like I can have a lot more freedom with the uh, colorization process. So that's kind of why I want to keep this a little bit more uh, light and airy feeling, I guess. So yeah, so just uh, nipping and tucking at the at the work. So if you notice, I kind of did this singular uh, singular pass over the whole thing, real rough, and then I just keep soft erasing and coming back. And I've obviously separated parts of the illustration into layers, and it allows for me to get in there and kind of itemize the work, and then uh, just touch up certain components of it as I go through it. Um, and if you notice too, I didn't even use any real perspective on this. I kind of just cheated it. I didn't think it was really that necessary for this uh, castle to be entirely in correct perspective. Uh, but, you know, that's up to you, you know, however you want to play it. Obviously, this software has some really great perspective tools, so I could easily check the work and, you know, do whatever I got to do. But I just felt like I could probably fake it and make it 
decent enough. The castle isn't really the uh, focal point anyway. So, so here just doing some more of the uh, the shading. Uh, really like the way the the brushes uh, work inside of uh, the program as far as the tapering and the kind of cross hatching or line work they get out of them. So I feel like it's got a very natural vibe to that or natural feel. And just getting in some more texture, some little you know details, some little rocks here and there, and then just trying to kind of pull it all together with the final way that I add any uh, dark to light. So I try to use the dark to kind of push certain shapes forward, especially when it's a uh, uh, collage type scene like this. All right, so that about wraps it up. Next we'll be doing the inks and the color, so I hope you'll tune back in to watch that. And as always, keep drawing, keep having fun, and I will talk to you soon.